again everybody thanks for joining me sorry it's been a couple weeks since I've uh, put anything out there on the channel I didn't have a whole lot to say I've had a few subjects that I've been contemplating doing videos on but uh, I haven't made anything of them yet I'm working on them and I'll get them out there eventually but today being Friday the 13th I thought we would do a review of That's right, Saving Mr. Banks! <laughs> and you thought I was going to do a Friday the 13th movie. Well, that's me. I'm never a normal guy. I like to do things my way. So I want to talk about Saving Mr. Banks. Uh, a really good movie. Uh, fantastic cast. Um, well acted. Very period feeling to the 1960s when uh, the movie takes place in 1963 and 64 while filming Mary Poppins. Uh, Tom Hanks is makes a pretty excellent Walt Disney. Emma Thompson, considering I've never seen P.L. Travers, only heard her voice on tape. But she did do a really good job, and at first you think she's a very insufferable character, but then once you um, get to know why she is the way she is, and once you start uncovering the truth about P.L. Travers, uh, Emma Thompson's portrayal makes better sense. Also in the film is... Um, Paul Giamatti, who plays Ralph, the limo driver. Uh, I like Paul Giamatti a lot. I think he's a wonderful actor. I think the best film he has done so far has been the miniseries John Adams on HBO. He is an actually a, uh, an amalgam of several different drivers that Disney had. Uh, he's not any one particular driver, but his character is very sympathetic. And he, uh, he I, I just, I like the guy. He's great. I do. There are some look-alike actors who have brief non-speaking appearances as Dick Van Dyke and Julie Andrews in the film. It would have been nice to have seen them have a more prominent role in the movie but I guess that was because the movie was focusing mainly on Walt Disney and P.L. Travers. I would have kind of liked to have seen an actor uh, portray David Tomlinson. The uh, actor, the British actor, who portrayed the namesake character of Mr. Banks in Mary Poppins. But... All we got to see of him was an illustration. <laughs> so, all that said, unfortunately, as brilliant a film as it is, as well acted as it is, as good as it looks, Saving Mr. Banks is unfortunately a pack of saccharine sweetened lies. I did some research into it. P.L. Travers was unhappy with the story. She did withhold the rights to all Mary Poppins stories after, before and after the movie came out. She was not invited to the premiere by Walt Disney himself. She was not happy with the animation in the film. She was not happy with the saccharine treatment that Walt Disney gave to Mary Poppins. I'm not saying that Mary Poppins is a bad film. It's Walt Disney's crowning achievement. There has been no film that, Disney, that the Disney company has made uh, musical wise that has been better it's probably the greatest musical ever made but as I said saving Mr. Banks is a big pack of lies Travers did not break down crying from an emotional emotions that she felt by the loss of her father who was an alcoholic in the film she was distraught because of the way Disney treated the film. In fact, she even approached Disney after the movie was over at the premiere and said she 
thought there was not going to be that animated, the animated uh, scene was not going to be in there. And Disney just looked at her and said, I'm sorry, Pamela, that ship has sailed. Travers decided that she needed to protect her artistic integrity and she refused to give up any of the rights to any of the other Mary Poppins stories. As wonderful a movie as Mary Poppins is, it wasn't what Travers had in mind. So, this is, uh, again, one of these movies where Hollywood is, uh, Saving Mr. Banks is one of those movies where Hollywood has stepped in and taken liberties and said, oh, let's make this as saccharine, sweet, and give it a happy ending. And uh, the truth of it is, is that there was no happy ending for uh, between P.L. Travers and Walt Disney. Uh, I should also mention that um, Colin Farrell plays uh, Travers' father and does a really remarkable performance as well. I especially liked Farrell's recitation of Winds from the East, the uh, opening dialogue of Mary Poppins that uh, introduces her in the movie. Uh, Farrell uh, narrates that uh, in the opening of uh, Saving Mr. Banks. It is a good movie. It is worth watching, Saving Mr. Banks, but um, do keep in mind when you're watching it that uh, it is Hollywood and watered down and they opted for the happy ending instead of the truth. It should never stop you from seeing Mary Poppins. That's a great film. And worth it. So... Anyway, that's my review for Friday the 13th, Saving Mr. Banks. Uh, I'm going to get back inside and watch some more Friday the 13th. You guys take care of yourselves. See you next time.